Limerick Today with Joe Nash on Limerick's Live 95 FM. I mentioned at the start of the programme the sad passing of Limerick designer John McNamara. Richard Lynch, very well known to you from I Love Limerick, was a, a good friend of John's and he's on the line. Uh, good morning to you, Richard. Hey, how are you? Um, talk to me a little bit about John, um, how you knew him and your feelings uh, on his passing. Well, I've known John about five years, but we've been very close the last five years. We were inseparable and... Um, his passing is just a huge shock. It just all feels like it happened so quickly. He was just went in with this complaint in his tummy about five weeks ago. We thought it was a stomach ulcer, and he, they operated about a month ago. And he he went last night. Then so we're we're everyone is in shock. You know Celia, his family, Catherine Burke, and uh, Francis Tooney, um, uh, Julie, all his closest friends, really. We're just, we just can't believe it. Um, the fashion community, Richard, is a very small, tight-knit one in Limerick. Um, everybody knows everybody. Isn't that the way it is? Well, what I want to say is, like, you know, John was the kindest man that I've ever met. And he was very kind to me. and He was a very good person. Um, but he was also not just my backbone. He did all the social media, and I love Limerick. He... Did my newspaper calling with me every Sunday. Um, he, you know, he does Celia social media. He, and more importantly, he produced her entire exhibition down at the Hunt Museum right now that's running till May the 3rd. He produced her fashion, her big, huge fashion event, the, um, the Limerick Student um, Fashion Awards the last two years. He was just so talented and such a wonderful, beautiful person. So we're just, it's just, it's still a shock, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, you know, I haven't even slept really. I just, yeah. you know, so it's, the whole thing is just very weird and feels very surreal right now. And he's been taken quite young as well, Richard. He was fifty-seven. You know, yeah, yeah, he was fifty-seven. And, and the Celia you mentioned, of course, the Celia Holman Lee, and you know, mm. John would have designed the dress, for example, for her big splash at her sixtieth birthday. Yeah. 40th or 60th, I even believe, for 50th, and she was just on TV three a quarter to nine, um, giving a dedication to him. Mm. Um, Celia is just a wonderful, amazing human being, and John was besotted with her. They've been best friends for 30 years, and um, she's she's obviously she's devastated. She's and she's I think she's in shock herself. I don't think any of us have really digested it yet. I don't think I've ever had someone so close to me pass away, to be honest. So I'm like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting in his house right now talking to you on the phone. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I left here last night. But. And uh, he, he comes from a very well-known Limerick family, of course, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, they're a wonderful family. And um, he said it to me on Sunday. He said, you know, that he couldn't believe how loved he was and how lucky he was. And They've been around, they've been with him every day for the last five weeks. We've all been with him. Um, you know, we were all with him yesterday and we were all there at the hospital shortly after he passed away. Like 10 minutes after he passed away, we were all there. He was with his close friend, Catherine Burke, who worked with him for 30 years um, in his business, in his fashion business. She was with him when he passed, thank God. Um, we were all at the hospital yesterday and he, you know, he, he, he said to everyone to go home that he wanted to sleep and he, he passed away. Yeah. Um, his brother, Michael, will be well known to listeners to um, Michael McNamara. Um, and he, he, in his work, a lot of his design work, the majority of it was done to order. Is that right? That's how he operated. It was, but he, he did, he did um, mini collections and he, he's, you know, he made a dress even for the president back in the the 80s or 90s, which was a really big deal for him. And, um, you know, he, he loved fashion. He loved what he did. But John was multi-talented on a number of levels. I was going through my old hard drives last night. He was even taking photos for Isle of Limerick. He used to take photos to my column. He used to write. Um, he could have put himself to anything, to be honest. You know, um, he loved fashion, but he was such a hugely intelligent man. He was very smart and an amazing listener and you know all his friends
exceptionally difficult. I know that. Everyone that knows him would agree how kind he was. Okay, Richard, look, um, we, we do appreciate you coming on this morning. We know it's a very difficult time for you um, and for everyone connected uh, to him, but uh, we did think it was important we gave you the chance to pay some tribute to him. Oh, and so. I love him so much, and I'm so glad that I was able to talk about him because he deserves to be talked about. Absolutely. Um, and, and you did get to spend, as you say, some time with him even over the last few days, which We were in important for the last five years. And, you know, we were always together everywhere we went and you know, I used to come stay with him all the time when I wasn't minding my parents and he'd make dinner every night and we'd always be alone together. Yeah. So I'm, I feel very lucky and very fortunate that I was able to spend that time with him. Absolutely. Listen, Richard, thank you for talking to us. Our sympathies okay. to you and to the entire... Um, and thanks for thinking about him today. We really appreciate it. No problem. That's uh, Richard Lynch there from I Love Limerick uh, paying tribute to his dear friend John McNamara, the uh, Limerick fashion designer who has passed away after illness. Limerick Today with Joe Nash on Limerick's Live 95 FM.